reflecting on the profound words of Marcus Aurelius who said, the best revenge is not to be like your enemy. We venture into an exploration deeply relevant to us all, the establishment of boundaries with challenging individuals. If you find yourself burdened by the presence of difficult people and yearn to reclaim your serenity, this guide is tailored for you. As we proceed, I encourage you to join our circle, like subscribe and remain with us until the video's conclusion for more thought-provoking content. Together, let us tread a path of self-discovery and mastery in the delicate dance of interpersonal boundaries. In our journey today, we embrace the wisdom of the Stoics, an enduring beacon from antiquity, as we navigate the complexities of setting boundaries with those who challenge our equilibrium. But let us ponder for a moment, what is the essence of Stoicism? Originating in the heart of Athens with the philosopher Zeno of Citium, Stoicism emerged in the 3rd century BC. It is a philosophy that champions self-control and resilience as the keys to mitigating negative emotions. The aim is not to stifle our feelings, but to transmute them through the alchemy of rational thought. At the core of Stoicism lies an empowering tenet. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength, as articulated by Marcus Aurelius. This profound insight teaches us that our dominion lies not in the external tumult of life, but in the internal landscape of our minds. Stoicism thus invites us to invest our energies where they count, not in the uncontrollable, the actions of others, but in what we can master, our responses and the boundaries we set. With our newfound understanding of Stoicism, let us now turn our attention to discerning the difficult individuals in our midst. Keep watching as we delve deeper into this subject. As we wade through the waters of our daily interactions, we inevitably brush against the currents of challenging personalities. These are the individuals who seem to draw from our well of patience, sometimes diminishing our sense of peace. Yet, through the lens of Stoicism, we are offered a transformative perspective. It is not things that disturb people, but their judgments concerning things. Epictetus. This profound reflection suggests that difficulty lies not in the people themselves, but in our perception of their actions. It is our interpretation and response that sculpt our experiences. Consider the traits that often characterize challenging interactions, disrespect, manipulation, negativity, and unreliability. These are not mere labels, but signposts guiding us to recognize behaviors that may impact us deeply. Disrespect. It may surface as an indifference to our time, emotions, or space. It is vital to acknowledge when our boundaries are consistently overlooked. Manipulation. This trait can take the form of guilt-tripping, gaslighting, or feigning victimhood to sway our actions. Awareness of these strategies is the cornerstone of boundary setting. Negativity. It often presents itself in perpetual criticism or a pervasive gloom that some may cast over our lives. While empathy has its place, safeguarding our mental space is paramount. Unreliability. This trait manifests through broken promises and unmet commitments, breeding stress and uncertainty. Recognizing this pattern allows us to manage our expectations and fortify our boundaries. Understanding that these individuals act from their own unique perspectives and histories is key. They are not inherently bad or wrong. They are simply navigating the world through their own lenses. And while their courses are theirs to chart, we hold the compass for our own journey of interaction. Having identified the nature of difficult people, the question remains, how do we establish boundaries with them? Here, Stoicism offers a path less traveled, one that leads to personal empowerment and tranquility. Let us explore this path together. In the tranquil gardens of Stoic thought, we are taught to cultivate only that which lies within our realm of influence. And among these cultivated fields are the boundaries we set. It is a conscious choice of discernment, determining what we will accept and what we will not all the while preserving our inner peace. Marcus Aurelius, a sage of ancient times, imparted this wisdom. If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it. And this you have the power to revoke at any moment. This insight illuminates the essence of our boundaries, not as tools to alter another's conduct, but as instruments to refine our own responses. 
It is a selection process of what we allow to touch our core. Let us now distill this wisdom further. Firstly, acknowledge your sphere of control. Recognize that while others' actions are beyond your sway, your reactions remain under your command. Embrace this power in the art of boundary setting. Secondly, delineate your boundaries. Determine which behaviors you will accept and which you will not. Craft these boundaries with clarity and precision, ensuring they mirror your principles and necessities. Thirdly, articulate your boundaries. Having sculpted your boundaries, convey them with clarity and assertiveness. This is not a call to arms, but a declaration of self-respect. Fourthly, uphold your boundaries. The act of setting boundaries is not a singular event, but an ongoing practice. Uphold these limits with consistency, even when faced with resistance. Lastly, practice self-compassion. The path of setting and upholding boundaries is strewn with challenges. Treat yourself with kindness and remember that prioritizing your needs is not just permissible, it is paramount. Having woven the stoic philosophy into the fabric of boundary setting, we now turn to the practical application of these principles in the tapestry of everyday life. Stay with us as we delve into actionable strategies. Let us now turn to some tangible strategies that you can weave into the fabric of your daily life. Number one, acknowledge your emotions. Embrace your emotions as guides, not adversaries. Stoicism is not about the suppression of feelings, but about their understanding. When someone's actions stir unrest within you, recognize your emotions. This acknowledgement is the cornerstone of boundary setting. Your emotions are a compass. They are valid and they matter. Number two, communicate with clarity. When it comes to expressing your boundaries, clarity and assertiveness are your allies. This isn't a quest to alter another's behavior, but a declaration of what you will accept in your space. Employ I statements to convey your feelings and needs. For instance, I feel upset when you interrupt me as it seems dismissive. I need you to allow me to finish my thoughts before responding. Number three, embrace detachment. Detachment is not aloofness, but a stoic embrace of perspective. Understand that the actions of others are their narrative, not yours. When someone encroaches upon your boundary, remember, it speaks of their journey, not your worth. Number four, discern your engagements. Here lies a subtle art, knowing when to hold your ground and when to yield. Not every challenge warrants your energy. Sometimes the most potent response is silence. Echoing Epictetus, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Engage when it serves your peace. Number five, lean on your circle. The path of setting boundaries can be daunting. It's a path not meant to be walked alone. Seek the camaraderie of friends, the solace of family, or the guidance of professionals. Asking for support is a strength, not a surrender. You are part of a community, a shared humanity. Remember, the art of setting boundaries is a practice, a journey rather than a destination. It unfolds over time, through patience and perseverance. With these stoic-inspired strategies, you are equipping yourself to safeguard your tranquility. In the quietude of reflection, we recognize that setting boundaries is less about erecting barriers and more about charting a course through life's relational waters with stoic stars as our guides. Our emotions, once perceived as tumultuous seas, become navigational aids, pointing us toward our true north, self-respect and peace. Through clear communication, practice detachment, and selective engagement, we cultivate not isolation, but a harmonious interplay with the world. This stoic journey teaches us that the epicenter of our lives, our inner citadel, remains undisturbed by the external, as we learn the art of swimming with discernment amidst life's undulating waves. As we embrace this practice, we find it to be an act of profound self-care, a deliberate stride toward that inner tranquility that is both our origin and our destination, supported by the collective strength of shared human experience.